Hi there and welcome to today's tutorial. Um, in today's tutorial we're going to look at the chapter of urbanisation for June certificate examination and we're going to look at functional zones in cities. And it's an important uh, concept you need to understand and there has been many questions that has come up on the different functional zones in cities uh, on the past papers. So this is an important uh, thing to note. So we'll start off by um, looking at what is a functional zone and first of all, what is a function? Well, a function is something that, um, that, the, that the, the area provides and the reason that the area provides to the people and it's the reason for the, it's like what the, the area actually does. Uh, so an example might be that it could be, you could have residential, it could be uh, ecclesiastical, it could be uh, port function, it could be educational function, uh, educational function there can be there can be a range of functions and usually in cities you'll find that they'll be it'll be multi, it'll be multifunctional it won't just be one function they'll have a range of uh, functions so we're going to look at functional zones there's different like zones within the city and we can definitely say that they've got this is the main function of it okay so we're going to look at um the different zones so first of all there's five zones okay so you have five functional zones so the first zone we call it is the CBD, it's the Central Business District Zone. The second zone, we call is the Shopping Centres, it's the Shopping Centre Zone. The third zone, we call is the Residential Area. This is the residential zone. The fourth zone is the open or recreational uh, zone. And the last zone, the fifth zone, is the industrial area. So there we have it. These are the five different zones that you'll find in most cities. You'll find a CBD, Central Business District Area, Shopping Centre Area, Residential Area, Open Space and Recreational Area, and Industrial Area. I'm going to talk about each one of these now. Okay, so um, the CBD stands for the Central Business District Area, and this contains um, many administrative buildings. So you'll have a lot of offices, um, a lot of courthouses, city halls. And this is usually, you'll find, like, right in the dead center of the city. And these are, you'll have, like, high-rise buildings. And they'll just basically be used as commercial function for businesses and banks and, and department stores. And um, this is the area known as the CBD, so the Central Business District. The second function is, a, is the shopping center areas. And this is, like, when... Um, you have um, like the larger shopping centres such as Blanchestown or Dundrum or Liffey Valley. And they're usually just on the suburbs of the city, okay? And they're very accessible, usually with like with roads and rail, railway lines. Um, and they're very, very popular because um, traffic is not as heavy around these areas as it would be in, say, the central uh, business district right in the heart of the city. So many people like going to these shopping centres, they're much usually bigger because they've got a lot of land space because land is cheaper in the suburbs than it is right in the city centre. And most of them are located along in Dublin along the M50, so around the M50. And this is definitely the, the case with like Blanchestown and then you've got uh, Liffey Valley further down and then if you go down even a bit further down to the south side you've got Dundrum. Usually you find that Parking is, is very cheap or it might even be free, as it is the case in Liffey Valley. Um, and you'll find a wide range of shops and services available uh, all under one uh, shopping centre roof. Another function that you'll find in a city is the residential function. And this is for uh, basically for people living. Okay, This is um, areas where people will actually live. And you can have three different types of residential areas. The first one you can have the old inner city, multi-storey and terraced buildings. Um, so that'll be right in the, in the middle of uh, the city centre. 
Then you can have the new inner city multi-story buildings, such as uh, which has been like the redeveloped, and you'll these will usually be like uh, apartments. An example of this could be like Smithfields complex in, in Dublin city centre. And then further away, you'll have uh, new towns that have been created. Um, and this will have like semi-detached and detached houses. And, uh, and an example of this could be Tala um, or Adamstown that's been, that's been developed in, in like most recent. And these are kind of, you might call uh, classify these as dormitory towns. It's where people like uh, sleep. And then they will commute from these uh, new towns into the city centre in order to, uh, for, to, to, find, to, to, to seek work and so on. The fourth, re, uh, oh, uh, sorry, the fourth functional zone is uh, open space and recreational zone. And this is basically uh, the space that's allowed um, for uh, leisure activities. An example of this in Dublin would be Marley Park or Phoenix Park or St Stephen's Green, which where many uh, recreational and leisure activities will take place. And the very last one, the fifth zone, is the industrial area. And this is where you'll find lots of light industry, and footloose industry usually locates along in the, these industrial parks. You'll find industrial parks on the suburbs of the city, and the reason for this is because they need such a large space, and land is much cheaper on the suburbs than it is right in the heart of the city centre. So there's also less traffic around the suburbs than it is in, in right in the heart of the city in, in town. And um, they'll need to like obtain plan mission. It's easier to obtain it along the suburbs. We can find many industrial estates and they're usually based around the M50. Uh, and an example could be like City West or Ballymount or uh, Sandyford further down in the south or Coolock industrial estates. Um, further north okay so you will find it all the way around the m50 there will be many many uh, industrial uh, estates so that's it for the five zones that you will find um the five functional zones that you'll find in most cities it's really important that you know the difference between these um five different zones and that you have clear examples of these different areas um in like for your city so for dublin that you can actually know and identify each one so we've come to the end of our tutorial um for urbanization looking at the functional zones in the city so we looked at five different functional zones and we talked about examples in dublin and then we looked at reasons why they locate where they do um so it's really important that you understand these uh, five different functional zones and if you'd like some more videos, please check out our website, examrevision.ie. You will find all the videos for the whole uh, Junior Certificate Geography course. Uh, there's also many notes, and there's also tests you can take. And this will be really, really helpful when you're studying for your Junior Cert.